Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, okay? So this topic is the continuation, continuation of the topic discussed no, already uploaded on my channel. The, the first one is discussing about conversion of units in metric system. Now, we'll be having or we'll be converting units in English to metric system or in English system. Okay, so ano kaya ang mga ito? So I want you to listen, pero kasi hindi na ito katulad ng first video na move, move lang tayo, no? move, 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 move. Now we will be solving. Kaya, you should have these essential skills. Multiplication and division of whole numbers and decimals. Again, if you don't have the mastery of this one, then review muna sa mga videos ko, uploaded videos on my YouTube channel. I have there. I have their videos about multiplication and division of whole numbers and decimal. And memorization, yes, because you need that. Uh, in memorizing or in, yeah, in memorizing for the units of conversion. Okay? Okay. So, for this stance, we have now, di ba, ang metric system na diniscuss ko in my first video. So, before watching this second video about conversion of units, Please do watch the first video para my connection, no? Para kasi I'll be also now, uh, making the video as the first example. So, please watch first before this one. Kasi easy lang naman yun. Mga 5 minutes to 10 minutes, may understanding ka na. Okay? So, for this one, we have now foot. Diba? Uh, familiar ka sa foot, inch. Yard, miles, so mga English system of measurement sila. Kasi hindi lang usually in the board examination, in the civil service exam, or any exam, na ang ipapakonvert lang, though in word problems, usually, like, convert 10 kilograms in grams, in milligrams, in centigrams, or convert 3 liters in milliliters, or centiliters, hindi lang ganyan. And most of the time, ganito po ang klase ng question in conversion. Okay? So, first, we will talk about this. So, ang power ng memorization or familiarization, dapat mag-come na here. Ha? Call na. I-call yun na ang power nyo sa pag-memorize. One foot. No? Foot yan. If you don't have, o oh, if hindi nyo pa alam, that's foot. No? Itong FT, that's foot. Okay? So, ang I- and inch yan. Okay, this is foot. So, ang plural, feet. Ha? Hindi foots. So, it's feet. So, foot, one foot, or two feet. Ganito ba? O, oh, yan. Two feet. So, in, I, N is inches, no? So, ang isang foot, kung makita nyo ang ruler, so, kumuha kayo ng ruler para talaga may concrete example. Uh, yan ay 12 inches yan. Ha? 12 inches. So, ang ruler na ganyan. So, kindly look at that. 12 inches yan. So, ang 3 feet, 3 feet, tatlong ruler daw, ang tawag dyan, 1 yard. So, tatlong, tatlong, tatlong 3 foot, tatlong rulers, so, 1 yard, so, imagine nyo, sa dipa, isang dipa, one yard ba yan, kayo na ang bahala, tatlong ruler. Okay? One inch is 2.54 centimeters. Okay? One inch po yan. Po yan. One mile, magamit na natin ito, this is mile. Okay? Is 1.609 kilometers. Okay? Or if it's in feet or foot, one mile is 5,280 feet. Okay, so again, dito na, tawagin nyo na ang power ng memorization. Say, oh, self, memorize, self, memorize, familiarize self. Kasi, if hindi mo ito ma-memorize, if hindi mo ito alam, at alam mo ang pag-multiply at pag-divide, useless pa rin. Kasi makakalimutan mo. For example, ang 1 inch na sa mind mo is 3.9 centimeter. And it's wrong. 
So, hindi mo talaga makukuha ang answer. Diba? So, you need to memorize or familiarize if you want. For mass or weight, uh, diba, familiar tayo, usually pounds ang gamit ng ng mga tao sa, you know, sa US or sa ibang places. Kilograms tayo. So, 1 kilo, 2.2 pounds. Ang 1 pound, 16 ounce. Ounces. Okay? Plural kasi. 1 ton is 2,000 pounds and 1 metric ton, 1,000 kilograms. Okay? So, ito ang familiar natin, no? Usually, lalo na kapag sa mga bridges na may sasabi na up to 10 metric tons only. So, yan ay nagre-refer sa mga truck. Usually, nga, ang mga truck na uh, up to uh, 12 metric ton dapat hindi na dapat doon uh, dadaan kasi baka mabibreak na ang bridge. Parang ganyan. So, metric ton pala, 1,000 kilograms. See, ang bigat. Kung sabihin natin, 2, 2 metric tons of gold. Wow, it's 2,000 kilograms of gold. Diba? Wow, ang yay yayaman nyo. Ang yayaman ko na nyan. If my 1,000 metric, metric tons of gold. Or, yeah, that's it. Okay? So, for... Mass or weight. Parang nag-loading ako doon. Sorry ha. Okay. Next, we have volume or capacity. So, 1 milliliter is also equivalent to equal to 1 cubic centimeter. So, pag-read nyan, cubic centimeter. Okay? Just familiarize or memorize. Second, 1 cubic meter. This is cubic meter. 1, I know, cubic meter is 1,000 liters. Diba? 1 US gallon is 3.785 liters. And 1 gallon is equal to 4 quarts. So, familiarize lang. Baka may mga tanong dito na uh, uh, the principal has 3 gallons of alcohol to be shared e uh, equally to 10 of the faculty members. Then in liters, how many liters will each faculty member receive? So see, gallon tapos liter. So at least you have in your mind the converse, the units of conversion. Importante talaga siya. Okay? Now let's have for time. Of course, ni dapat makalimutan. We have time. So though we have many questions in board examinations, in civil service exam, in entrance examination. Questions about time. So, dapat memorize nyo ang units of conversion. For 1 hour, 60 minutes. Diba? Actually, no, familiar tayo sa time. I know, I know, I know. Familiar tayo sa time. Because the only constant is time. Ah, hindi pala change pala yun. Time is gold. Diba? 1 minute is 60 seconds. 1 day is 24 hours. 1 month is 30 days. 100, 1 year, 365 and 1 fourth days. Oh, it's 1 fourth day. So, it's 365.25. 365 and 1 fourth days. Ha? 365.25. Ang 1 leap year, yung every 4 years, no? Na may February 29 tayo, it's 366 days. 1 century, kung first time yun na, here and where the century, it's 100 years pala. So, sabihin natin na centenarian siya. So, nakaabot siya sa 100 na taong gulang. ba? Grabe. One millennium naman is two years. So, tayo ngayon, 2020, year 2020. So, two millennium na. Two millennium. Kasi 1,000 times two, 2,000 times two millennium and 20 years. No. So, I know you are familiar with this. But again, to others who have forgotten the concepts or who have forgotten the units of conversion or forgotten, uh, forgot uh, solving this, then listen. Huh? If you don't have the multiplication and division skill, please do have the mastery first. And of course, this. Okay, so let's have examples now. Let's have first distance. So... Again, ito po ang mga conversion factors natin, no? Itong nakasulat in yellow. 
why do we need to memorize or familiarize this? Because these are essential in solving problems in conversion. Okay, so example. The distance of Leia's house to the market is 3 miles. What is the distance in kilometers? Diba? So, this type of question requires conversion factor and of course the process in conversion. So, miles down to kilometer. So, pag ang style dyan, you will look at the conversion factor. Saan kaya ang pinakamalapit na pwede natin gamitin? Then, kilometers, feet, ah hindi. Feet, foot, inch, ah hindi pa. Feet, yard, ah hindi. Inch, centimeter, ah hindi. Miles, kilometer. Ay parang ito. Kasi 3 miles into kilometers. Ganyan. Ganyan dapat mag-isip ang mga viewers. <laughs> but I know, ganyan. Pero that's the way. No, para baka ito ang gagamitin nyo. Baka lang ba? So wrong na agad. Diba? So we have miles to kilometers. Kasi this is the question. So, 3 miles. So, isulat natin. Now, alam natin na ang 1 mile is 1.609 kilometers. So, paano yan, sir? Okay. So, in this case, in solving, no, this is the way uh, to solve this kind of problem sa mga conversion. So, usually, we will write the given 3 miles tapos multiply natin siya ng fraction. Tapos ano sabihin nyo, anong na fraction sir? 1 half, 1 fourth? Hindi. Itong conversion factor. So, you may ask again, ano ang nasa denominator sir? So, be sure na makancel natin ang miles kasi we want our answer in kilometers. So, in this case, so ganito ang pagkasulat. 1.609 kilometers is just 1 mile. So, in this case, guys, pwede na natin makancel out si mile. Mile. So, what remains ay 3 at saka 1.609 kilometers. So, in that case, calculator ka na. Easy ka na, diba? So, use your calculator or use manual computation. So, 3 times 1.609 so, dito na to. 3 times 1.609 Ano? 609 Huwag kalimutan si kilometers is equal to 4.827 kilometers. Therefore, 3 miles is equal to 4.827 Kilometers. So, ang distance kaya ng bahay ni Leia to the market in kilometers is 4.827 kilometers. Ganyan! That's why one of the skills I presented later is the memorization skill. Dapat ma-memorize to. Hindi kasi given sa mga exam ang mga conversion factor. So, dapat you know. Okay? So, in that, yan lang ang way. So, example number two. Here. Here. Ito, medyo uh, tricky, pero easy. Okay. The distance of Leia's house to the market is 3 kilometers. The same lang ang the situation. What is the distance in yard? Okay. Wala, paano yan? So, ang hanapin natin, kilometers tapos yard. So, kilometers, feet. Uy, hindi. Foot, inch. Ah, hindi. Feet, yard. Ah, hindi. Inch centimeters. Kasi ang hinahanap natin, kilometers to yard, no? So, ang tinuro ko, sa example number 1, hanapin natin ang my conversion factor na na kilometer agad to yard. Mile kilometers. Ay, parang wala. Parang wala. Paano kaya to? O, ba? Tapos, if you don't do the conversion factors, ay, hindi na talaga mag-skip na kayo sa number. So, hindi. So, familiarize, memorize. So, ganito, kilometers to yard. Tapos, makita mo, kilometers to feet, tapos my feet sa yard. Hala! Parang connected. I will use this first para makita ko, masolve ko ilang feet ang 1 kilometer, ang kilometers, tapos yard. Hala! Oo nga. Perfect. Sige daw? O sige. So, ganyan. You have your way. So, dapat hindi makalimutan ang mga conversion factors, di ba? Importante talaga siya. So, 3 kilometers. So, isulat natin 
1 kilometer is 5,280 feet. So, paano nga i-fraction? So, para makansa si kilometer, o oh, si kilometer na sa denominator. So, ang sa numerator, 5,280 feet. So, if that's the case, cancel, cancel. So, meron na tayong, o oh, ano na, meron na tayong 3 times, 3 times 500 5,280 feet is equal to oh, sige, kalki muna para may contribution din kayo dyan, no? 15,840 feet. But the question does not ask for feet. We are asked for yard. So, meron na. May feet to yard na tayo. Ay, in that case, easy na lang. Kasi, May conversion factor na talaga para sa feet at yard. So, one step at a time. No need to rush. So, ito na naman ang gamitin natin. Okay? So, and given is 5,840 feet. So, in that case, ano nga yun? So, 3 feet is 1 yard. Kasi yard ang inahanap natin. So, i-multiply natin. So, ano ang denominator? Siyempre ang feet. Kasi, para ma-cancel out. Numerator, 1 yard. Tapos, cancel, cancel. So, ano ang na-remain? 15,840 feet divided by 3. Use your manual computation or your calculator. 15,840 divided by 3 is just 5,280 yard. Wow! Wow! We have answer na po, sir. Na po, sir. Yes, we have. That's it. That's just it. Ganyan lang. So, one, one step at a time. So, the need to memorize the conversion factor is truly important. Okay? Now, you may ask, Sir, bakit kaya uh, tama ito na i-multiply natin sa ang, ang given sa ganito na mga na fraction? Kasi... Example, 5,280 feet o, over or divided by 1 kilometer is just 1. Kaya same lang naman sila. 5,800 feet is just the same as 1 kilometer. So, that's just the same as 10 divided by 10. So, parang i-relate lang natin ba? So, it's just 1. That's why pwede pala siyang i-multiply dito sa given. So, same as through here. 1 yard is just equal to 3 feet. So, in that case, if the same, like sa, para makonkretize natin, 10 divided by 10 is just 1. So, parang nag-multiply lang tayo ng 1. Para hindi, para bang idea nga, lah, bakit, pwede? Bakit pwedeng i-multiply, sir? Gawa-gawa lang ba yan? ba? Kasi kung 3 kilometers here, example lang, no? Additional explanation lang, no? 3 kilometers times 1, it's just 3 kilometers. So, ba? The same lang. So, pag-multiply nito sa conversion factor, Daw, this is just one. Para, we will just also, uh, para masabi natin na we are following mathematical rules. Kasi kung ganito, baka masabi nyo, gawa-gawa lang yan natin, sir, na pwede ma-times. Ano bang math behind it? So, ganyan pala siya. Okay? So, again, conversion factors are important. So, dapat memorize siya. That's for distance. For mass and weight, the same concept. The same lang po ang concept. Example, a weightlifter can lift uh, like 200, 230 pounds. Yan daw ang malift. So, ang question is, ilan yan? Ilang pounds? Uh, ilang kilograms? How many? How many? Tama ba? In kilograms. Uh, if a weightlifter can lift 230 pounds, what is it in kilograms? How many is it? Parang hindi how many, no? O sige, para safe tayo, para hindi mabash, no to bashing. So, so basta kung ganun ang story, so, example, so, 230 pounds ang kaya niyang malift, tapos ang question is, in kilograms, ilan kaya yan? No, ano kaya ang conversion yan? Kasi, in the Philippines, kilograms, bagay na use natin. So, the same concept. So, Isulat natin to 30 pounds. Tapos, multiplyan natin sa conversion factor. So, my 
pounds tayo at kilograms. So, I, I mean, pounds at kilograms. So, diretso na. Di ba? Sa denominator, ang pounds. Tapos, sa kilogram, ang sa taas. Cancel, cancel. In this case, this is 230 over 2.2. Uh, my kilogram sa denominator. And that's it. You use your calculator. You use your mathematical prowess. So, it's 104.54 kilograms. And that's it. Again, kung ganito lang agad. Pero in examination, we have word problems. Like, sa sinabi ko ng example, ang weightlifter and kayang makapag-weigh ng 230 pounds. Ilan kaya ang ito sa kilograms? Ganyan lang ang concept. The same lang kanina. Okay? So, example. Second example. Okay? So, ang isang bus... One bus has a weight of 2.5 metric tons. Oh, sige. One bus weighs, sulat lang natin, sige, 11,520 kilograms. Kilograms na lang. Sige. How much is it? Ay, parang wrong talaga ang how much is it, no? Convert it in kilograms. Yan na lang para sure. No? Basta ang concept, ha? Convert it in kilograms. Okay, so again, ano nga? Isulat si 5,220 tapos multiply yan. So, here, may metric ton tayo kasi in, I know. No, no, no. Again, one bus weighs 11,520 kilograms. Convert it in metric tons. Metric tons. Okay, so may agad na tayo. Oh, metric ton tapos kilogram. Oh, that's it. 11,520. Do not forget, it's kilograms. So, use the conversion factor, 1 metric ton is just equal to 1,000 kilograms. So, cancel si kilograms, cancel si kilograms. Ang na-remain na lang ay si metric ton, no? Follow me, over 1,000. Tapos, so it's 11.52 metric ton. Oh, easy lang pala sir. Yes! As long as you know the concept na ganyan lang pala, ilagay lang si given, no? Ilagay lang agad si given, tapos multiply yan lang agad ni conversion factor. So, like kilograms to metric ton. So, meron na tayo agad. Metric ton at saka kilogram. Gamitin nyo na yan. Yan ang importansya ng memorization at familiarization sa conversion factors. So, i-familiarize, memorize para kahit saan ka, Mag-take ng exam if my question na ganito, easing easy na lang. I promise you that you surely pass the exam. Okay? For time, if you had the mastery kanina sa way sa pag-solve, the same lang po here. The same lang po. Say, uh, the child is 2 years and 3 months old. Ah, sige, 2 years lang muna. The, my nephew is 2 years old. How? Para hindi ko talaga kaya ang convert pag how much. Anong kaya? Mag-ask mo na lang ako sa teacher ha, sa English teacher ko. Convert it to months. Ay. Same ang concept. Same lang talaga ang concept. So, ano nga? Ilagay na si 2 years. Tapos, Use conversion factor. Ano ang ginamit sa given? Ano ang ginamit ng mga words? Years and months. P, tingnan natin. Days, hours, hindi. Months, days, hindi. Years, days, leap years, days, century. Wala. Sabi nyo, parang wala. Walang diretso sa years at saka months. Pero, alam nyo, baka hindi nakasulat dito, alam nyo na ang one year, 12 months, di ba? January to December. Di ba? Baka kasi ito din lang ang mamemorize nyo, ang present ko. Meron tayo ha, 1 year is 12 months. So, in that case, so, ang 1 year ay 12 months. Okay. So, cancel, cancel. So, we have 24 months. Meaning, my nephew is 24 months old. So, kung ganito ang tanong. Basta ha, the same lang talaga ang ways lahat sa mass, sa ano yun, sa 
wait at dito sa time. Basta do not forget the contortion factor. Okay? So here, we have a question. Sample word problems. In LET, in CSE, or any examination, ganito po. Hindi na convert 45 miles to ganyan lang. It's in word problem. Okay? A student averaged 40 miles per hour on a trip. 40 miles per hour on a trip. What was the student's speed in feet per second? Oh, parang, parang difficult na yan, sir. Parang tatlo-tatlo na. Okay, so, para hindi kayo ma... Uh, what's this? Para hindi kayo maka-feel ng difficulty, i-write nyo. So, 45 miles per hour. Ganyan na lang pagkasulat para later magkasilation tayo. Okay. In feet per second. Hala! If this is the case, parang dalawa na kayong two movements na no. Two ways. So, first, in mind, sabihin nyo, miles lang muna ako at saka feet. Tapos, uh, ilang, may conversion ba miles to feet? Yes! ba? One mile is 5,280 feet. Oh, in that case, sir, so ganito ang way sa pagsog. Okay? So, 45 miles Per hour, so multiply yan siya, no? Multiply yan siya ng, so ano ang denominator para makasa si mile? It's 5,000, ay no, 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 no. Siyempre, ang denominator ang mile. Again, ha? Kasi kanina, the same example kanina, para makancel out, so 1 mile is 5,280 feet. So, Ma-cancel na siya. Cancel. Cancel. Hala sir, meron na. Yes, one step at a time. Ganyan talaga ang pag-take, uh, pag-solve ng mathematics if ever, no? Ganito na mga question. So, if that's the case, sir, so, uh, may answer na po tayo na use your calculator, 237,600 feet per hour. But that's not a question. It's feet per second. Pero at least, may feet na tayo. ba? Ay, oo nga pala, sir. One step at a time. Yes! One step at a time. So, in that case, so, continue. Let's continue solving. So, we have 237,600 feet per hour. So, ano i-multiply natin? Ano ang gamitin natin na conversion factor? So, in one hour... We have ilang minutes? 60 minutes. O parang haba pa pala, no? So, in 60 minutes, we have 3,600 seconds. Okay? So, paano mo yan nakuha, sir? Though obvious na, no? Kung time, sige, i-show lang natin para, para sa case. So, 60 minutes. So, in 1 minute, there is 60 seconds. Oh, so, cancel, cancel. 60 times 60, it's 3,600 seconds. Okay? So, magamit na natin siya. So, meaning, in one hour, ang hour sa taas na naman para makancel ito, is just 3,600 seconds. Hello, sir. Parang may answer na tayo. Yes! Parang may answer na talaga. So, 2,237,600 2, feet divided by 3,600 seconds is equal to, use your calculator again, or your, again, talent in division. Diba? Yun ang skill na dapat nyo ma-memorize. It is 66 feet per second. And we have answered the question. Wow! 100% passing rate. Ganyan! Ganyan na ganyan lang po! One step at a time. Ganyan ang mga question usually. So, baka masabihin nyo, ay, tinuro sa YouTube ni Sir Leo, dito lang naman mag-stop. Uy, hindi naman. Paano kaya ma-seconds na din? Work sa second naman. Sa second uh, step, I mean, sa second process, kasi hour pa, so, i-move pa sa second. Ganyan. May mga ganyan talaga na tanong. But the concept is the same. Very similar lang po. Now, let's have this example number two. On a recent trip, Jan traveled 260 miles using 8 gallons of water. 
I know gas. Okay? If water mabuti, no? Parang lahat tayo magkakakar. What was the ca cars miles per gallon for this trip? How about kilometers per liter? Baka sabihin nyo, sir, realistic ba yan na dalawa-dalawa ang tanong sa exam? Meron. Meron. Uy, there are examinations na dalawa ang tanong. Tapos sa answer, ganito ang pagkasulat. We have 200 example miles per gallon. Tapos kama lang, 350 kilometers per liter. Ganyan. Baka sabihin nyo, ah, hindi realistic naman yun, sir. Meron exam. So, let's take it one step at a time. Di ba? So, isulat natin. 260 miles daw ang matravel ng 8 gallons. So, kung 1 gallon, paano yan? O, i-divide lang, sir. Uy, kasi kung i-divide natin ang 260 miles sa 8, it's 32.5. Yes, that's correct. So, it's 32.5 miles per gallon. O, may answer na tayo agad. Dinivide lang natin pala. Kasi 8 ito. So, paano maging 1? So, para ma-1, i-divide siya. So, it's 1 gallon. Or, ganito pagkasulat, di ba? It's 1 gallon. Pero, ganyan lang pala siya. Gallon. Kasi, di ba? A liter of water. Meaning, 1 liter of water. Ganyan. A liter of gas. 1 liter of gas. So, parang hindi na natin inilagay si 1. Pero, that's the concept. Okay? So, we have answer na for the first one. But, we are not looking only for this one. We have kilometers per liter. So, sa na-learn natin kanina, ay... Ito na, idiretsyo na natin para may learning din kayo na pwede palang ganito, hindi step by step. Pero, the same. It's just the process. So, tanggalin natin si Miles uh, in kilometers natin. So, dito si 1 mile para makancel. So, si 1 mile daw is 1.609 kilometer. Okay? Tapos, agad-agad para makancel si Galon, 1 gallon, 2 liter, ha? Given, ha? Baka sabi nyo, bakit kilometer ang nilagay? Kasi kilometer na to. Bakit liter? So, it's 3.785 liters. Okay. Bakit ganito, sir? Pwede nang ganito. Ha? Hindi na i step 3, step 2. Pwede nang diretso if you have the mastery na. So, cancel si mile, cancel si mile. Let's use red. Cancel si gallon, cancel si gallon. Ay. So, multiply na. So, use multiplication, 32.5 times 1.609 divided by 3.785. Ah, you have the answer. It's 13.82 kilometers per liter. Check that using your calculator. Diba? Naisa na natin. We have only solved in one process, pero... The same concept sa kanina. Kung i-second step nyo, third step nyo, pwede. And that's it. That's just it. That's the concept. Try this at home. And if you can solve that, isend nyo sa GC, I mean sa comment box. Tapos, I'll reply if correct or wrong. Okay? So, congratulations for passing any examination that you will take. God bless you all. Bye-bye!